Hey guys, Ivan here at IvanMana.com. In this video, I want to show you a neat little trick you can use to increase your quality scores on Google and Microsoft ads so that you can pay less per click. Because if you watched our previous video where I explained to you in very thorough detail what ad rank and quality score is and how the whole auction system works and uh, how much you pay, quality score is one of the main factors and the easiest factor to change that will allow you to pay less, okay? So take a look at that video if you're unsure how quality score plays into the whole bid. But this neat little trick that I will show you here will allow you to increase your quality scores without trying too hard, okay? It's one of the simpler automated approaches. Now, before I get into it, guys, make sure to hit like and subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so you get notified when I release new videos just like this because it's little things like this, guys, that are gonna make you a successful marketer. That being said, let's get straight into it. What am I talking about here? If you haven't guessed, it's dynamic keyword insertion tool and the dynamic text replacement tool. So we're gonna use both of them. One is in our Google ads, which a lot of people talk about, but the other one is dynamic text replacement, which not a lot of people talk about. We're gonna build them up together. One is on the ad, one is on the landing page, okay? So we're gonna make it very relevant. If you recall, the basic definition of quality score is the measure of relevance between the search term, what someone types in, all the way to the landing page, okay? So we're gonna, add, we're gonna make everything here more relevant. So just to give you an example, here are some of the keywords. Let's go into ads real quick. If you recall, you know, my rule of thumb is I like to add the keyword in the title one, right, in headline one. So here, for example, keto diet meal plan, eight week keto diet meal plan. But here, let's suppose we're in the research phase and we have a lot of keywords. We have keto foods, we have keto diet book, we have ketogenic snacks, we have ketogenic bread. Now, let's suppose we do actually offer all these things. Okay, first thing you wanna do when utilizing this is make sure you actually offer everything that your keyword says. Don't say keto diet, you know, bread, ketogenic bread if you don't offer it. So in this case, let's suppose we do offer everything in on our landing page, which is just says custom keto diet plan. It includes everything, but we don't want to make separate ad groups for them, right? You don't wanna make a separate ad group for all of these, how many keywords do we have? Let's select it here. We have 25 keywords, so that's too tedious and we're gonna save that for after we get some sales data or just some regular data and we see what works, what doesn't. Keywords that work, we're gonna put them in separate groups. So right now, the easier approach, the easier thing to do is something called the dynamic keyword insertion, okay? So we're gonna do this on our ad. So what I'm gonna do here is click on ads and let's suppose we wanna change this ad. What I'm gonna do here is click it, you know, I'll just edit the ad and then I'm gonna delete this and I'm gonna say in squiggly brackets, I'm gonna type squiggly bracket and then it's gonna automatically pre-populate these options here. The same thing in Microsoft, guys, it's, it's the same exact ID, okay? So not, not much of a difference there in how you do it. You also put squiggly bracket, say keyword insertion. And now what we're gonna do is here, we're gonna write the default text, okay? So this is the first part, guys. We're gonna go to our landing page in a second, but over here, let's suppose title case because we want the keyword to show up in title case. So what's gonna happen here is we're gonna write default text. So if none of our keywords fit, for example, if we add other things in the headline, like if we say, you know, uh, get your, and then we say keyword insertion, sometimes keywords are longer, it doesn't fit with the 30 character limit. So what we're writing here in the default is something that'll take place of this part in case it doesn't fit, okay? So the default text, in case the keyword doesn't fit, let's suppose we'll say custom keto diet plan, which is what we had originally, okay? And then we'll say again, title case, and we'll click on apply. So here's what's gonna happen, guys. If someone types a search query in, which triggers one of these keywords, for example, they type in keto foods for me, and that triggers this keyword, this is going to show up here. So it's gonna say in the headline, it'll say explicitly keto foods. So you can see how relevant it is. Someone typed in keto foods for me, the keyword, which is pretty dang close to that, was triggered, which was keto foods, and then our headline one says keto foods, okay? So pretty relevant. Whatever someone types in, if someone types in ketogenic diet menu, that's gonna show up here. If someone types in ketogenic meal plan, that's gonna show up here, okay? So you're giving people exactly what they're looking for. Now, a few things to keep in mind, guys, you have to make sure that, as I mentioned, every keyword you have matches what you offer. You, like, don't add this as a, as a you know dynamic keyword insertion if you don't offer a meal plan. In this case, we do, obviously. Um, but for example, you know, like I said, breads or books. Like, if you don't offer that, don't do it. The other thing is, let me just cancel and go back and show you. Uh, we can keep this. Yeah, let's let's save ad. Uh, let me quickly show you. So now it's just gonna look like this. Okay, it's gonna go under review, of course. But if we go into keywords, uh, if you notice here, my keywords are phrase match because guys, you have to keep in mind, again, don't forget, search term is different than the keyword. Just because our keyword is keto foods, 
does not mean that's exactly what somebody's gonna type in. Now, if you have a phrase match type, it's gonna be closer to the keyword. So if someone types in, uh, you know, crazy meal plan for me, that's probably not gonna fit for under this. But if you use a broad keyword match type, then it might. You will get a lot of irrelevant search terms if you use broad match, okay? So what I'm trying to show you here is that make sure that uh, you are using more restraining, like more, um, what, what would you call it? More restrictive keyword match types. Because if you say broad and someone types in something completely irrelevant that doesn't have to do with keto foods, which is possibly what might happen because it's a broad match, then you know, that this is gonna show up in the headline, but that's not what someone searched for. So that's why you wanna make it as close to the search term as possible. That's why I have them as phrase. So phrase, exact, broad match modifier, not to be confused with broad, broad match modifier. Those are all okay to be used here because they are more closer uh, of a representation to what the search term was. Now, another thing you should note is that all of these are fairly similar in terms of context. So none of them say how to, for example, I specifically selected these keywords. None of them say how to, or how do I, or why, why should I use keto diet, whatever. All of them have the same idea, like the keto diet, keto diet, ketogenic diet, keto meal plan. And that's because guys, it has to make sense in the ad. So if you click on your ad, if we say, you know, if, if we have a um, keyword that says how to uh, lose weight or whatever, and over here you say learn how to, then it's not gonna make sense. You're gonna say learn how to, learn how to lose weight, okay? So make sure all your keywords are not necessarily the same theme if what you offer is contained within the keywords, but that they follow the same format. This is important, guys, because it has to make sense, okay? You'll see this more when we get to the landing page, but this has to make sense because if you write something in addition to the keyword, like learn how to, or just, for example, in this case, let's say how to, and you have a keyword that says how to, now it's gonna say how to twice, right? How to, how to lose weight, and that just, that you don't want that to happen. So make sure your keywords follow the same format. So let's go to cancel uh, and just leave the changes as they were with that. Okay, so this is how you add dynamic keyword insertion. Okay, hopefully you should see some best practices like make it all the same format, keep them you know, more restrictive exact phrase or broad match modifier. Again, not to be confused with broad, they're two separate things. Let me know in the comments guys if something is unclear, if I'm going too fast. So that's the first part, okay? So these keywords are gonna show up in the actual ad. Now this is only part of it guys, because remember, part of the quality score is the landing page relevance. When someone gets to the landing page, they, if, if they typed in one of these keywords, you know, ketogenic snacks, they don't want to say get access to custom keto diet plan, or they don't want it to, to say that, right? They want to read, they want our headline to say keto diet book, for example, or ketogenic snacks. Our headline should say that. So what we're using here is the Unbounds page builder. As you guys know, if you follow my videos, this is my favorite page builder. And one of the reasons is because it has this dynamic text replacement tool, which I'll show you how to use here. So what we can do here is, uh, let me close out of that. I think I already showed it in a previous video. Uh, if you have a headline here, right? Like here's the headline. So uh, what I'm gonna do here is let's suppose I want the, the, um, the keyword to show up here, right? Get instant access to your keyword and then it's gonna replace. So it's actually gonna say, get instant access to your keto diet menu or get instant access to your keto diet plan. It's gonna be replaced, okay? So that's what we wanna do here. So I'm gonna select, I'm gonna highlight the text that I want to add this dynamic text replacement in. I'm gonna go to action and I'm gonna click on dynamic text replacement. And then for the URL parameter, you can say whatever you want here. So you can say KW for keyword. This is whatever you name it. You are coming up with a parameter to store this keyword token. So you can say monkey, okay? You can say uh, blog, like li literally whatever you want. We'll just say KW for keyword. This is for your reference, okay? You're not doing anything crazy here. Uh, this is just make up a name. And then just like on the ad, we're gonna create the default text. So if something doesn't work with the keyword, if it doesn't go through successfully, or someone clicks on the link without your parameter on there. What do you want the page to say? You should always have this guys. This is just a safety feature, like a default, um, you know, or if you're not running on Google, if someone shares your link and they share just the URL, you want something to be there, right? So this is going to be our default text in case our keyword doesn't show up. And then we're going to go here. We'll select again, title case. Okay. And we'll click save dynamic text. Now, if you want to edit this guys, do not, uh, do not highlight your text again and go over here to action dynamic text. Do not do that, you're gonna have to redo it, okay? So if you want to edit what you did, just double click it here and you can edit, okay? Or if you wanna delete it, click on this little X and you're gonna delete it, I'm not gonna delete it. I'll show you what it looks like, but this is the idea. So now, okay, we're gonna save the page and let me show you how this works, how you're gonna actually do this, like what URL you're gonna use. 
So uh, while it publishes, it, it'll publish soon. We're gonna go into landing page and let's edit our ad again. So we're gonna edit ad. Now this is these are tracking parameters, okay? Disregard them, I, I show you how to track everything so you see sales if you're using affiliate networks, whatnot. This doesn't matter, but whatever the end of your URL is, to the end of your URL, you're gonna say uh, ampersand if there's a query string. If you don't have anything, I think I'm making this sound a bit more complicated than it is, but basically if you don't have any of this guys, which maybe some of you don't, you just, you know, you put a question mark if you don't have anything. If you do have something, then you have to put ampersand, okay? So like over here, see there's a question mark and then here's an ampersand, okay? Uh, these are, you know, small details that will make your URLs not work if done improperly, so I'm making sure I'm uh, kinda showing you guys the whole thing. So we're gonna say ampersand, do you remember the parameter that we set up? It was KW, right? That was the parameter that we created. Whatever your parameter is, that's what you use. So let's go over here again, let's double click, it's KW. Again, if you say monkey, then you put monkey here. There's no right end, like it can literally be whatever. So we're gonna say keyword equals, and then we're gonna say in squiggly brackets keyword. Now this keyword, this you have to say keyword. This is the Google Ads and Microsoft Ads token, okay? So that's the token they use to um, fill in with the actual keyword. So let, let's, let me copy this URL and let's save the ad and let me just show you briefly what it's gonna look like. So if we open a new page and we're gonna hit enter, and you will see here that it says keyword. So this is gonna be replaced with the actual keyword, guys, right? So if you go to any of these keywords, now your keyword is gonna show up in the headline and in your landing page, on your landing page. So if someone types in something, I, I'm not gonna say this, if, if, if someone types in something that's gonna trigger this keyword, then this keyword is gonna show up in your headline in the ad and on your landing page. So it'll say keto diet meal plan. It'll say here, get instant access to your keto diet meal plan, okay? So to test this, what we can do is we could just write something here. So we could say keto diet meal plan. And I'm not sure if it'll work with spaces because that's not actually how it's gonna look, but let's click enter and there you go, okay? So this was a test and now our headline will say get instant access to your keto diet meal plan. If you type in anything else in here, it's gonna follow suit. Now again, don't worry, the token will actually be replaced. So you are gonna say keyword in your ad, okay? It's, you have to say keyword. That will be replaced with the actual word, okay? So keyword equals uh, make money today. And then boom, get access to make money today, which is why I'm telling you your keywords have to make sense because if it doesn't, this is what's gonna happen, okay? Or how to make money online, get instant access to your how to make money online, okay? So make sure your keywords all, again, follow the same format. That's the main thing. They don't have to have the same theme. That's the point of using a dynamic keyword insertion as long as you offer everything that the keywords say you do. Uh, but they have to have the same theme. So no how to's if you're you know, sticking to that format. Can't stress it enough guys, this is just really important. So that's pretty much what I wanted to show you. Now as an added bonus, if you guys wanna take this a step further, you don't have to add it in the headline, you can literally add this anywhere. So you can add it over here. You can say you'll start the, and then you can, you know, you can make that dynamic keyword replacement tool. Or if you're writing something, you know, either a review or another like sub headline, you can write it there. It doesn't have to be that. Also, it doesn't have to be the keyword token. Microsoft Ads actually offers the query string token. So the query string is what the user actually typed in. Unfortunately, Google doesn't have it. Microsoft Ads does. So what you could do is with Microsoft Ads, for example, you could, uh, not here, for the URL, you could say query string query string right there, okay? And that'll be replaced with the actual query string of what someone actually typed in. Now again, this is only Microsoft, Google does not have this token. What you can also do is if you name your ad groups like males age 18 to 24, let's suppose you create different ad groups. Um, I believe the name is ad group for Google. Uh, I would ha We would have to check this. I can send you the link of all tokens, but I believe it's ad group. And so what's gonna happen is if you're, the name of your ad group is, let's say males ages 18 to 24, now what you can do is you can add this as a description, for example, right? And you can say, enter your name, in, or um, you know, instead of this, uh, you can say, yeah, like anywhere here, you could say this custom keto diet is perfect if you are, and then boom, add group name, if you are uh, males, or in this case would be male age 18 to 24, okay? So just make sure that you name the ad group a certain way, and then you can use it anywhere. So I'm just letting you know, you don't have to only use keywords. You can use it with any tokens, get creative with it, see where you can add these, uh, these kind of these these kinds of things because it's really gonna help you guys. It's gonna boost your quality score. It's gonna make things more relevant. But again, I can't stress it enough. Make sure your keywords are more restrictive. Don't make them broad. It's just you know, 
it's it's going to be irrelevant anyway because the, the keyword's probably not going to match the search term and make sure they follow the same theme. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys. If you haven't seen my video on ad rank and quality score explained, once again, definitely check that video out. And then take a look at my ClickBank case study on Microsoft ads where we build out a profitable campaign together. We optimize it. We see the results so you can know how to create your own profitable campaigns. That is all. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.